Geeks, Tim with Major Geeks. Today we're going to take a quick look at Destroy Windows Spying. Probably not as quick as usual. Might take a few minutes. This program is designed to manage the telemetry and spying issues in Windows 10 that you've heard about. We've had it on Major Geeks now for about a year and a half. A couple people have had a problem with it, a very small number, because they didn't read or pay attention. So hopefully by doing this video, I can show you a few things to be careful for so you don't become one of that small percentage. Um, once you've downloaded it, simply double click it. It's portable so you don't need to worry about installing it or anything. And as you can see, I have a problem here because my Windows Restore is disabled. So let's do the Windows S, which is the fastest way to do it, and get to search and type in Restore if you're in this boat. Head over to create a restore point as you can see it shows it's off so we can configure it we can turn on system protection let it use however much space you want I'm in a VMware so I'm just gonna save a little space just so that you see it click apply and that way you're gonna want to be able to possibly restore your system if you have a problem so make sure that is not a error that you get as you can see it's now gone now the first thing you need to know is you can do nothing if you're not an advanced geek, just click this, let it do the basic stuff that it considers the safest for your computer. So it's going to create a restore point, which slows it down. And as soon as it's done, we'll show you a few of the things that it's doing by default and how you can revert back if you have a problem. It doesn't take too long. My machine tends to be a little faster than some. So if it's going slower than this, don't sweat it too awful much. I mean, we're talking 30 seconds to a minute on average, maybe a few minutes for you. It's all good. So I'm going to let this run just for the sake of uh, just showing you how, what, what you can expect to see. And it wants to restart, which you would want to do. I'm going to say no because we're not done. As you can see, real quick, it, one of the bigger things is disables telemetry. Uh, some of the stuff gets a little confusing later. I'll show you. See where it says delete keylogger. I'll show you that later. It gets rid of the Cortana, which I don't use. So if you do, see now you've got yourself a little bit of a, a problem here. So we can scroll down and see that it blocks a whole bunch of stuff. It uh, adds Windows firewall rules, etc. If you have problems with your firewall, there's a utilities tab here. All I have to do is remove the do not, the destroy Windows spying firewall rules, and those are now taken out. We can run back over here. So it gives you a pretty good idea. What I do like about this is you can come over to here before you run it as well. As you can see, if you have a Windows phone, <laughs> um, you deleted the phone companion. Uh, if you use camera or any of these things, you, you got rid of them. If you have an Xbox, you usually get rid of them. So what you want to do before you actually run this is come into your settings, enable professional mode. And from here, you can decide if you want to create a restore point and if you want to possibly not disable Windows Defender, et cetera, et cetera. That's up to you. If you click here where it says delete Windows 10 Metro apps, now you can come and say, well, I've got the Windows phone, so don't delete that. I have an Xbox, don't delete that. So it only takes a couple minutes. Some programs are a little more complicated to use than this one is. So over here, you can actually delete all the apps, but luckily we have one of the few places where there's a question so that you can get an answer to the calculator of what it's doing. Uh, I wish there was more of that. I would like to see a little bit of mouse overs on here to give us a little more information. For example, this is nice that it warns you, but you gotta be a little scared to click it, but don't be. It's just gonna tell you Office 2016 may stop working. I'd like some more information on that. I'd like to see some uh, mouse over tips. Here's another one, fix screen rotate. I don't know what it is, so. Uh, user account control, once again, just to give you an idea, you, if you don't know what it is, again, Windows key plus S, you type in UAC, and you can actually come in here and do it yourself if you want to. This is the thing where when you hit open an app up, it says you're sure you want to run it, you can shut that off or change different levels about how often it does it. So once again, these are more advanced users. Your restore system is here. Your open and edit host file is here because we, we showed you it edited the host file. Everything with a pound sign here, it doesn't see. So typically your host file ends right here. So you could actually come in here and drag your mouse down, highlight it all, click delete. That's your standard host file and save. So now you're back to the original host file if you have a problem with that, something on the internet working. A little bit about uh, the change log, a little bit about what the program does. Works really, really well. It's a solid five stars on Major Geeks. 
you just want to watch out when you play around with this advanced stuff because you don't want to break something in your system. And again, that's all I'm trying to protect a few of you from while showing everybody else how it works. And really, that's uh, that's about it. Oh, I went over my five minutes. I try not to do that. So there you go. I'll uh, drop a download link in the description below. Take a second to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope I see you next time.